It's all coming down to the war of words with more criticisms expected to follow as the days count down to the hours remaining for a decision from the judicial arm of government. While the arguments between the two camps are anticipated to be supported with economic facts, the outcome of politics in Papua New Guinea is always highly unpredictable. The statement from the opposition side mentions that as of yesterday, 6th of December 2020, the camp has 55 members of parliament representing 16 political parties who have individually signed the Wutung call to action. The Vanimo coalition plans to publish a report on the two dailies tomorrow and Wednesday highlighting economic effects Papua New Guinea is now facing due to the leadership of Prime Minister James Marape. They include the closure of Pogara Mine, delay in negotiations for Wafi Goldpool projects, government's action to COVID-19 response, an increase in the Bank of Papua New Guinea lending to the PNG government. The Wutung call to action also includes plans to bring back the tuition free fee education for all primary and secondary schools. Students debt under HELP to be converted to a scholarship program. No more charges for basic health care and the abolishment of the pandemic act. However, Prime Minister James Marpe in an earlier press conference says the Loloata camp is intact and the Bougainville referendum remains an important issue for his government. It still remains a very important part of uh, my own personal uh, vision for how Bougainville should be. Uh, they voted 98% for independence. There's a lot of work we need to do, uh, including full completion of uh, the process detail in the 2001 peace agreement and so much work remains i've allowed for the technical team to sit because of this court process it delayed for us to have a full uh, jsp me meeting in the next one or two weeks president torama and myself would agree on a time and we will uh, uh, sit in a jsp to set the pace for uh, the next phase of bougainville this is the first jsp after referendum while MTV News has sought for a response to this statement from the Prime Minister's office or the camp at Lolowata, Medang MP Brian Kramer gave a response to the statement from the opposition. Kramer says in his social media post published yesterday, states that right now the only thing that is keeping the opposition members together is that they have agreed to change the government but what they have been avoiding and can't agree on is the nominee for the alternate prime minister and with the war of words now going into full swing veteran politician sir julius chen spoke the loudest so I want to cut my long story short. I ask all of those who give a damn about our country to join us. If you give a damn about our country at all, join us. <clears throat> join me in these demands, whether you are in government or whether you're with me today. So let us join together for change. Let us all together commit ourselves for change because the alternative is doomed to the Baigani swamps. It is time for us all to become Papua New Guineans once again. Thekla Gunga, National MTV News.